right here on the People Station. We're taking you back, like I said, the greatest of the 80s and 90s right now on Take Me Back Tuesday. And it's also, we're going to let you know about the fall membership drive and a little bit more about that in a little bit. But let me tell you this, man. I'm glad the music changed. We're going to change. We flipped the script right here. Right. Big story today. Big, 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 big story. ESPN's Jamil Hill. Jamil Hill. Suspended for two weeks for speaking her mind on Twitter. Wow. Now, now, Styles, you got a little information about this story. Let the people know wh what you just was telling us about the story, man. Yeah, well, it looks like she was suspended for two weeks because she went to Twitter and she voiced herself in regards to the statements that Dowboy, um, Dallas Cowboy owner statement where he put out where Jerry Jones, say his name. Jones. I don't like to say his name. It's my team. I don't <laughs> like the owner. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> All right, and we ain't talking about dynamite either. All right, <laughs> but Jerry Jones basically put it out there that it's okay to protest, but when the national anthem and that flag raises, his players are going to stand. So or or be benched. All right, now or fired. The well, word fire was used. Well, you know when you get benched, it's you know firing usually comes right behind that. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at so she put a statement out, basically putting it out there saying you know everybody is protesting whatever whatever, but you guys are still supporting the league, you know supporting the NFL or whatever. So she put this tweet out, and she was suspended. Wow. So my thing is, I'm not I'm not siding with ESPN, but if you know that they're looking at you and they're gunning for you for the last statement that you made when you called number 45 a white supremacist, that there might be a chance if you go back to Twitter again that they might come down on you. But you know what? I'm glad you bought up number 45. Right. He's showing the whole world that he can say whatever he want to say on Twitter, so why can't nobody else? You know what I mean? Why, why, who's holding him accountable? Who's suspending him for the things that he's saying against... Uh, Mexican Americans, Black Americans, uh, homosexuals. It, it, who, who, it's, it's, it's funny because this is all freedom of speech. It's all freedom of speech. But yet, it's okay for the president number forty-five to voice his freedom of speech. But when NFL players and other athletes if, express their form of freedom of speech, and we, and we they should be held to truthfully, being fired. We, have, we have more freedom than he does because. In his position, he's not supposed to do that. He's not supposed to have any types of opinions for uh, uh, private businesses, private entities, anything like that. He's not supposed to really so use what his you're influence. So the president is influencing exactly. businesses exactly. in a way that the president she shouldn't and allow to exactly. take place. Exactly. Now, exactly. now what, what, what did she say? What, is what she said the first time she got in trouble on Twitter, was, was that just as bad or was that worth? I mean, punishment or... I mean, in, in my opinion, when she called the president a white supremacist, opposed to making a statement now about saying how we should boycott, that statement was way worse than this second tweet. This second tweet... But it's you can't... Not, it's, not, it's, not, it, it's not that bad. It's not something that you should be fired or suspended over. Right. But what ESPN did is when they didn't do anything the first time, they came up with this social media policy. Now, I've got a friend of mine that works for ESPN. They never really had a social media policy because they want their personalities to use Twitter and things like this. So they really didn't have a, a, a policy on what you can say and what you can't do on Twitter. But do you realize the President of the United States influenced the NFL owners or tried to influence the NFL owners by saying, if they do it, fire the SOBs. Yeah. That's influence from the presidential office, which is not allowed. He can't do that. It's a lot of things uh, not allowed that's taking place fire, right now. Uh, any, 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 just call them SOBs. Right. Don't, don't worry about the who kids suspends and him? families and all that. Just, just who's, fire who, Nobody's suspending him. I don't no, get it. Well, we need to fire him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need yeah, to try. So we got to do something. We got to start with these midterm elections coming up. That's how we start getting rid of this guy. Yeah. We got to start getting some of these people out so that when the term comes back around, as Crazy D said, this guy's going to win again. No, he's not. Yeah, I believe yeah, he's going to he's gonna win. He's going to win again. I believe I if bet they you. don't get him out, we'll go to we that later. we got to get him out. We'll if, go to that later, but I guarantee you, if they don't get him out, he's he going to win again. No, nah, brother, he didn't show his hand. He and ain't never getting back in the world. He's going to have a four term, a yeah. one term, and that's it. He's getting out the building. But listen, y'all, it's fall membership drive. We, I wish we could open up the phone lines and let y'all let y'all chime in on this. But we are expecting quite a few musicians 
to come through. And, and I, I named some people a few minutes ago that I want to come through and do this thing with us, but that's you. If you're sitting right there right now like, man, I want to take my CD down there, get up off your mm, 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 and come on down here because we, right. hey, we ain't going nowhere. We're right here, 350 West Washington Avenue, Suite 125. Y'all need to be in the building right now. Come on down, local talent. If you sing, if you do spoken word, if you are a gospel singer, I don't care what you do. Mm. We're going to play your song today. All you got to do is show up. We're here till 6 o'clock. Where you at? <laughs> Yeah. All right, it's the people station. We're gonna play, take, take, we're gonna play some bills and come back. We're gonna just jump, jump into this uh, DJ remix thing because I think remix over there. He, he warm, he up. ready, he, he ready. ready, he anxious. We didn't, yeah. we didn't yeah. fed him, we didn't clothe him, and he ready to spin them wheels of steel. Here we go. What you know about that dirty? You can't tell me about that dirty, about that dirty. He grew up in that dirty. What you know about that dirty, dirty? Where them boys smoke dirty, smoke dirty. And them crackers out there dirty. You can't tell me about that dirty. If he ain't grew up in that dirty, in that dirty. We want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to have a good time. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. You're listening to Brown.